I'm the guy who's here for the money. I didn't know this movie was about Brock Lesnar. WB Studios is back with their newest movie, Rumble. The film is about giant monsters who compete in wrestling matches. This makes it the perfect movie to be littered with WWE references, so let's go through every single one that appears in the film. The main character of Rumble, Winnie, has to travel to an underground wrestling league in order to find a monster to train. She starts looking for possible recruits and discovers a female monster named Axe Hammer. Take a listen and see if she sounds familiar. Come on, give me a challenge! Axe Hammer wants a challenge! You want some more of that? You want some more of the Axe Hammer? That's Becky Lynch voicing that fearsome monster. Lynch's character only appears in a couple of scenes, but she still manages to say her iconic nickname. You like that? Axe Hammer is the man! Uh Becky isn't the only WWE wrestler that appears in the movie, but we'll get to that soon. At the same event, we meet another wrestler named Rayburn. Up to this point in the film, all the monster wrestling matches have been real fights. However, we see that Rayburn's match is actually kind of like a real WWE match. Rayburn and his opponent only pretend to fight each other, and they even talk in the ring to plan out what moves they're going to do next. Okay, Clunk, let's end this with a bang. I'm going to go for the Kazagiri chop, but you catch it and finish me off with a reverse clothesline. This is something real WWE wrestlers will actually do during their matches. The term for this is calling a spot. It's pretty cool that the filmmakers include this detail in the movie. After Rayburn's match, Winnie explains why she is there. Earlier in the movie, a monster named Tentacular turned his back on Winnie's hometown, Stoker, by insulting the city and the fans who live there. Winnie wants to get a new wrestler to represent Stoker, and this is what she says when she's explaining it to Rayburn. I can help you get that money! Tentacular turned heel and bailed. Heel is a wrestling term that means bad guy, which is exactly what Tentacular became when he left Stoker. On the topic of Winnie, there's a WWE reference hidden in her room. We see in the door that she has a sticker of the classic golden black NXT logo. See, even she prefers the original over NXT 2.0. In another scene, Winnie is at a diner. The walls are filled with posters, and if you look closely, you'll find a cool WWE reference. One of the posters is advertising a wrestling match, and it includes the old SmackDown logo on it. What's cool is that the match takes place on a Friday, the same day SmackDown airs in real life. Anyways, Rayburn and Winnie have their first match together, and their opponent is someone you likely know pretty well. That's no, alright, I, I love to laugh, that's me. Oh, I ain't laughing, but I will be when I pin your face in the dirt and I break your tail with my horns! Yep, the voice of Ramarilla is the head of the table, Roman Reigns. As the name suggests, Roman's character is a crazy wild ape. Like Reigns in real life, Ramarilla is a strong opponent, but Rayburn manages to defeat him after wearing the ape monster down. What's also awesome is that during the credits, we see Roman Reigns and Becky Lynch's characters dancing in the ring. Getting back to the movie, Rayburn continues to move up the ranks by fighting various opponents. This leads to him fighting a dragon who wrestles similar to a luchador. Listen to what music is playing during this match. Ironically, that's the same music that Kalisto and Sin Cara used when they were the Lucha Dragons. It's pretty cool that they include this song in the film. Also, hi NXT logo! Another WWE theme song can be heard later in the movie. Right before Tentacular blows up the Stoker Wrestling Stadium, this happens. Huh? Well, that was disappointing. What's the matter, boys? It's very satisfying hearing the Street Profits music in a movie. Then, just moments after that, Winnie channels her inner rock. Yeah, and we're here to challenge you, you big jabroni. Jabroni? You heard her. I'm calling you out, spectacular. Here's another scene in the movie. See if this sounds familiar. Just listen to this crowd. Boy, this is special. I could be wrong, but this sounds very similar to Goldberg's iconic chant. Also, in that same scene, we see a wrestler named King George. Perhaps it's not intentional, but considering King George is literally a British Bulldog, I feel like this character was inspired by WWE Hall of Famer Davey Boy Smith, aka the British Bulldog. While not animated, a number of WWE wrestlers have appeared on Disney shows. Give that a watch by hitting the annotation on screen.